Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and today we're going to talk about magician Chris Philpot. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Did you know that I've been reviewing tricks from Chris Philpot for six years? Six years! He has been making magic for a super long time. And if you don't know who Chris Philpot is, uh, he is an award-winning screenwriter, director, lives and works in LA. He's been into magic since he was a teenager. He used to work down at Len Cooper's Browser's Den in Toronto, and he used to perform for parties. Chris collects magic books, vintage magic posters, and other magic collectibles. Plus, Chris is also a member of the Academy of Magical Arts and a regular contributor to Magic Magazine. You'll probably remember tricks that he's created like the 100th Monkey, Babel, French Postcards, Intimate Mysteries, The Tossed Out Book Test, Incandescence, and more. And I've reviewed several of those titles. You can be sure to check out some of those reviews I've done in the past for him. But don't take my word for it. Don't, don't take my word for it. I am a 55-year-old YouTuber, okay? Uh, you want to take the word of Ran Pink. Banachek, Ken Weber, Colin McLeod, and Max Maven. He's got all those heavy hitters giving him positive quotes saying great things about his magic tricks. How good are his effects? How about AGT and Penn and Teller fool us? Good. David and Lehman were on AGT with Howie Mandel and they performed Chris Philpott's 100 Monkey Principle. With the 100th Monkey, you can take away a volunteer's ability to read. So picture this, the magician has some cards, and when the magician holds the cards up with words printed on them, the audience can read the words easily, but the words make no sense to the spectator, and they struggle to sound out the words just like a baby who's learning to read. In the end, the magician gives the spectator back their ability to read, and then suddenly, in a snap, the spectator can now read the words perfectly. Oh, but I also mentioned Penn and Teller Fullis. That's right, Ricardo Berdini, performed with Allison Hannigan on Penn and Teller Fullis, and he did a variation on the memory erasure effect. So on the show, Ricardo had two words that he showed the audience and Penn and Teller. The words were enchantment and remember. Allison Hannigan was then told to memorize those two words, and then as Ricardo sung a song to her, she forgot them. The first word she said was forgotten, and the second word she thought was the magician's last name. And I reviewed Pantheon. It's a great trick. You can go out and watch my review that I did for that as well. You can also check out other reviews that I did for the Fadeaway deck, the Crossfire book test, which got five stars on Penguin, Mind Thief, which also got five stars on Penguin, and Narcissus, 100% five stars on Penguin. And if you've never heard of Chris Philpot, I can give you a free introduction to him right now. Head on over to penguinmagic.com and download their live holiday remix. You can watch Chris stab a penguin. Well, actually, Dan Harlan stabs a penguin, but you can check that out. And be sure to visit his website, Magic Online. Chris has free magic tricks there for you, and you'll be sure to check those out as well. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, would you like to learn a magic trick? You would. Did you know I have a second channel? That's right, I have a second channel where I teach beginning level magic tricks. Magic Channel Card Tricks is a place that you can go to to learn tricks with ordinary items you can find around the house. Paper clips, rubber bands, pens, and of course, decks of cards. I teach beginning level card tricks, simple card tricks, simple card forces that anybody could learn. I also review magic kits so if you go buy a magic kit from the store, uh, your local Walmart or Target, uh, or you get a magic kit for Christmas, I'll go over exactly what's inside. And I'll even teach you how to perform with some of those tricks that you get inside those kits. Plus, I'm even gonna give you video instruction to very simple, very inexpensive tricks that you can pick up at your favorite magic store. Sometimes you get those tricks and the instructions are just on a tiny little piece of typewritten paper and you have no idea how to to do that trick, don't throw that trick away. Don't put it in a box. Come back to Magic Channel Card Tricks and I will teach you how to use that trick as well. Or maybe you're not a beginner. Maybe you're not a beginner, but maybe you have a niece or a nephew or a little brother or sister that is, that you could share this channel with them. This is a great, safe place 
kid friendly where they can learn beginning level magic. Make sure you head on over to Magic Channel Card Tricks. Give my videos a like, subscribe to that channel. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for being a part of Magic Orthodoxy.